Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're doing a quick review on the BRS 7-stage Pro Plus RODI system. That's not it yet. I'm, I'm, hold on one sec. And here's the other half. It's a lot of RODI. So if you burn through DI resin quickly, have chloramine in your tap water, have a really hard time hitting zero TDS, or maybe just want to save as much money as possible in the long run running an RODI system, this video is for you. This is nuts. Starting with ultra pure H2O, meaning zero TDS or total dissolved solids, is the safest way to make sure that your reef doesn't end up containing any harmful chemicals like chlorine, chloramine, or heavy metals like copper or iron, or even algae fueling nutrients like phosphate, silicates, or even nitrate and ammonia. Most reefers accomplish this by utilizing RODI or reverse osmosis water that's been deionized, and many reefers actually make RODI water at home since it tends to be more economical, especially if you have a larger reef or if you just do a lot of water changes. There are tons of options out there for RODI filters and for good reason, because not everybody's tap water is identical. One person may have 50 TDS coming out of the tap while another person has 200 TDS. So it's important to make sure that you get an RODI system that's going to be able to handle whatever your tap water is throwing at it. You might have high CO2 in your tap water, which is really common when you're on a well like I am. For reasons you might not be able to figure out, you could just burn through DI resin really quickly. Your municipality might use chloramine instead of chlorine, which can be pretty hard to take out by comparison. Long story short, not everybody's gonna be able to pick up a four stage RODI and be able to efficiently get that zero TDS standard that all reefers are looking for. The BRS 7-Stage Pro Plus RDI system is purpose-built to deal with the most troublesome tap water situations, whether it's high CO2, chloramine, or other contaminants, while also providing the most efficient and effective configuration of running DI resin by separating the cation and anion resins, and then sending the water through a mixed bed resin for final polish. It comes in four speeds, 75, 100, 150, and 200 gallons per day, with the 150 and 200 gallon per day being water saver models that boast an incredible 1.5 to one wastewater to product water ratio, making them a good option for reefers who wanna conserve water and make the purest water possible as quickly as possible. BRS has also increased the value of the seven stage units by providing a back flush valve, triple TDS meter, and all the hardware you need for installation, including a really nice faucet adapter valve combination that I'm a big fan of, and a float valve for your reservoir. In the box, you'll find the reverse osmosis filter with a pre-installed NSF certified membrane, micron cartridge, two one micron BRS universal carbon blocks and pre-installed membrane flush valve, the deionization filter with pre-installed pro cation, pro anion and pro mixed bed resins and triple inline TDS meter, 10 feet of red, black and blue tubing and an accessory kit including a canister wrench, source water adapters, drain saddle clamp, inline ball valve, and a float valve. And lastly, the owner's manual to help you along the way and give you all the information you need on how to set it up. And then you're ready to start making ultra pure water for your reef. Installation is similar to any other RODI unit. Pick the spot in your home that best suits your needs, mount it to the wall, hook up the adapters, the lines, and if you have a reservoir, the included float switch too. BRS RODI systems are built to last with high quality components like Murloc Push Connect dual O-ring fittings to keep maintenance simple, easy, and leak free. We're also confident in the quality and performance of our products, and all BRS RODI systems are backed by our limited lifetime warranty, so you know you're covered. It is also definitely worth mentioning that not everyone will need an RODI system quite this heavy duty. If your TDS out of the tap is not very high, or if you don't face any unique challenges with DI resin consumption, it could take quite a few years before you see any kind of return on investment through savings on cartridges or DI resin. So spending around half as much on a four stage unit might make more sense for you. The seven stage system is also very large at double the size of a four stage system. So if you plan to mount it inside of a cabinet, like under your kitchen sink or bathroom sink, just be prepared for it to get a little bit cramped in there. I'll say this isn't really an issue for most people though, since we tend to mount these in our laundry rooms or basements where we can kind of stick them up on the wall where they're gonna be a lot easier to access for maintenance. 
I'll also mention those of us out there who are on a well or have poor water pressure coming out of the faucet, you'll more than likely need a booster pump for the 150 and 200 gallon per day water saver options that need a minimum of 65 PSI water pressure to operate efficiently, which will add to the upfront cost of your RODI system. The 75 and 100 gallon per day units only need a minimum of 50 PSI, which might be a better option if that helps you avoid the booster pump and keeps that initial investment cost down and within your budget. The seven stage system is a no compromise RODI solution right out of the box. But if you wanna upgrade your existing four, five, or even six stage RODI unit to utilize that Pro Series DI resin for the best possible efficiency and performance, Ryan's gonna show you how to do that right here. Sort of a DIY solution. Get it? Cause you're adding it on yourself like DIY instead of just buying it all together. I thought it was funny. 